Huh, so that's what you were practicing on those protesters last week. I couldn't figure it out. Yo, what is up? It's me, and welcome to... Envy... Boom! We have a new show on the horizon! A show I was definitely gonna watch, but I was gonna wait for the second part of the second season to do the whole thing at once because it's only four episodes the first half and the second half seems to be also just four episodes so I waited and I waited and here we are a little birdie aka the internet has uh, uh, told us everybody that the second part of the second season is coming in exactly a month which means Invincible is ready to go <laughs> and with that I'm happy to say that finally there's not gonna be two shows a week on this channel there's gonna be free whenever invincible ends after two months or uh, about that time there's gonna be another show coming i know exactly already which one i'm not gonna spoil it yet but it is a good one <laughs> it is a good one free shows on the channel let's go with that being said though i just have to preface this i do have a extremely busy schedule outside of this whole thing as well so there may be times where a show shifts into another week and the whole schedule kind of shifts just because the lack of free time on <laughs> on on my hands it did already happen a couple of times with only two shows it probably will happen with free shows now sometimes i'm gonna try to eliminate it as much as possible but you know there is only 24 hours in a day unfortunately boy do i wish there was more but there ain't anyways with that being said invincible the first season i saw when it released actually i do remember most of it i rewatched it as well like a year ago maybe half a year ago so it's still pretty fresh in my mind in my head which is good the biggest cliffhanger after first season was the mr shit what was his name the j jonah jameson guy you know the evil guy he kind of went off planet somewhere and mark stayed on planet earth to protect him and that's how it ended so uh you, I'm, I'm super excited to see where this goes apparently it's good the second season is good so yeah enough yapping and let's jump instead right into invincible season one episode one previously are you serious hey, crazy we got a recap oh. And Thank subtitles, you. okay. Hold it's on. about time. Someone murdered the Guardians of the Globe last night, tore them limb from limb. Dude, what a great show. I remember when it first started and the first episode hit with the post credit scene where the guy killed fucking everyone, every single one of the superheroes, and everybody was like, What? <laughs> it's crazy. That was a good time. What I really like about this show too is it's got so many subplots, surprisingly. Like even you do kind of realize it at the end there when I think it was at the end at least. It was like a montage of all the subplots going on and i don't i didn't even remember half of them <laughs> as it was happening but there were so many there were the there were the martians there were the the, the guy with the big like hammer thingy i am these two but it's just so many so much more but of course the most important plot of them all j jonah i do love your mother but she's more like a pet to me i don't give a shit oh man what a thing to say what a thing to say that is so sh that is so shitty. Years. What a thing to do. <laughs> that is so shitty. What the fuck? Mark? Yeah. Wait, this guy. Who is he? <laughs> I've been hit harder before. Like way harder. Who is he fighting? So arrogant. Just like your father. Oh, the the guy who came back after being alive for like millennia, no? That was also such interesting support. Uh, uh, Alright. Showcase the fight straight away. Why not? Oh wow. Why can't you trust me? After what Omni Man did. Omni Man. That's his name. Ah. You. Yep. What? He came back? Yeah, I wouldn't. Here goes his head again. Mortal your way out of that. Huh? Is that a dream? We know. You all feel like we're the bad guys. Because my dad and I took over your planet. But you're going to be part of the Viltrum this Empire is, now. This is not how I remember the first season ending. We didn't destroy your cities. 
You destroyed them by fighting back. <laughs> okay. Your new Vegemite rulers are on the way. Sure. Don't forget, I'm invincible. People of He said it. What? Without the title screen going on. What is this? I didn't get it at first either, but I came around and you... It doesn't seem like a dream. There's other people with their own spots. Angstrom, were you followed? The immortal led them away. We're safe. Yeah. What is happening, man? That's what Rex thought too. What happened to her hair? Is this like a future thing? Someday. You too will die. Sure. But you should have died at birth. <laughs> that is not okay to say, man. Chancy. Oh, wow. All of them gonna die, huh? Stop this. Or I stop you. Please. I'd rather die. I would never kill you. But I can't let you hurt anyone else. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do like that, like son. Uh, she's not dead, just paralyzed. Huh? So that's what you were practicing on those protesters last week. I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I've got some people who'll take care of her, so you know I can visit. What? Oh, oh my God! She's not dead. She's just paralyzed. It's fine. When you join, let's finish this off. I'm starving. Oh boy. He's smiling. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Did I miss a second season? Is this a third season or something? Yeah, it was just a fast. Who knows what the fuck that was? Fast forward to a different like timeline, or it wasn't. It couldn't be a fast forward because Robot had his uh, previous body still, and not his new, a child body. So that is a nice song. What the fuck? It's like a rhino, but it's a elephant guy. Never thought I'd see elephant's ass like that. He's saving lives, but this does feel very lonely. This is what you get. nice montage that was great the healing has already begun i wonder if people blame him short weeks, for what happened crews have been hard at work rebuilding the city devastating i wonder what she thinks about all of this you don't have to go back if you're not ready i mean at least they have each other which is great they're not i think we're both dead. he's not alone she's not alone that's good yeah. <laughs> see you later mom you too I said I was sorry. We barely gave you a concussion. That means we like you. That means you're a friend. That means when we break out of here again... Friend of the cartel. You ain't gone nowhere. Did you? Oh yeah, I shit portals now. Don't worry, this isn't your world. My name is Angstrom Levy. Huh. Hi, Angstrom. Let me guess, you can open portals between dimensions. I mean, I don't like to brag, but not okay. within the same dimension. Very much a hmm. uh, Captain America, America, America Chavez. I miss when we only work for ourselves. Me too. <laughs> what a great bunch of uh, anti-heroes. Like true anti-heroes. They would fucking kill everybody if they wanted to. But they are helping, helping so much. Mark Grayson. Todd, listen, I... <clears throat> Oh. I'm uh, sorry your dad got exploded. Uh, thanks. <laughs> but I don't really want to. That sucks, man. Totally sucks. Talk about yeah, it's very I imagine not ever relatable. Like I hear your dad was an okay guy, though. And he was like Jack, right? I bet you wish you got those jeans, huh? Oh, wait, wait a second. They don't know? Good talk, man. Uh huh. See, I'm not an asshole. <laughs> I'm not an asshole. I'm not. It's Dude, fine. this woman as well. Yeah, it's. She fine. pulled the fucking worst 
in the first season when he told her that hey, I'm invincible. Yeah, that's what I was missing everywhere and I wasn't with you. And she's like, I knew. What the fuck was that? That was the worst fucking plot point in the f I swear, in any show. So I'm not expecting much from her, is what I'm saying. Hold on. I'm better, I'm stronger, I'm ready. No, you're not. You're not, Mark. What? What do you mean? It's only been a month, Mark. Focus on your mom, your grades, not your a girlfriend. Lot of time. You want to go to college with Amber, right? You also went through an emotional tumble dryer, and I need to know your head stops spinning before I let you back in the game. So no, not yet. Give it like a, a year or two. <laughs> I don't need your permission to be a superhero. You know who else said that to me? I'm not um, my dad. Where did J. Jonah go? This thing's still going on. It's not going well, sir. Hey. The Guardians could use some help. They could really use... Invincible. I'm not making the same mistake. They said it twice now. We fought the intro. Piece of shit! Here, don't call me that! Aww. I'm the giant! And He's... I want to be president of America! And an astronaut! He's sensitive, man, and he wants to be a president. Why are why are they attacking him? Based on his speech patterns and vocabulary, the giant seems to have the mental capacity of an eight-year-old. Explains the astronaut part. Is it okay to beat a little child, eight-year-old child, if he's a, a giant child and destroying a city? It's still beating up a child, no? Ah, oh. civilians. Bye. -bye. Okay. I'm I'm not sure. These two as well. Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I couldn't move. Where well, he's inside a suit. Every, inside every suit? Why not just he kinda downgraded, didn't he? From having all these different suits being uh, remotely operable to just being in one. That's kinda I don't know. Risky. There's an infinite number of dimensions. Oh boy, here we and go. Again. I was born with the ability to access all of them. Isn't it crazy how just a couple of years ago everybody was so excited about the multiversal fucking plots everywhere? Uh, not everywhere yet, but then they became everywhere, and now everybody's tired of it. <laughs> Isn't that just kind of funny? I don't know how fast that that trend uh, turned around. Each dimension has something unique and valuable. Shakespeare's we've never read. Technologies beyond our understanding. Mm. New ways of thinking. Let's see if <coughs> let's see if they pull it in an interesting way. Pull it off. I can save billions upon trillions of lives. He Sounds seems nice. Like fun, but Bye. saving lives isn't really our jam. He probably ain't. Meet the family. Okay, never mind about the cloning. He already. I did not see that coming. What the fuck? You're the clone. He's the king of you. this show. That's not gonna do this, and I'll give you any single dimension you want. We want one with no superheroes, <laughs> good food, and a population that thinks we're gods. Nice. Wouldn't that that that's gonna be so boring though? Debbie, I've been waiting for you. Olga. Now the back door was open, so I let myself in. Oh. The fast enough, yes? guys, his uh, wife. When I saw you with that knife, I thought, <laughs> <laughs> really? I would <sighs> never. Too obvious. Poison would be much better. I would never. Yeah, sure. Nolan killed so many people. He almost killed Mark. Said I didn't matter, that I was a pet. 20 years, and I was a goddamn fucking pet. Yeah, what a thing to say. Oh, I needed that. I don't have anyone to talk to, so keep it all inside and it's it's like acid eating me away until what about I'm mark hollow. uh i'm gonna go to my room olga made dinner i already ate no oh. okay i can see why it's not mark what if i become him and i don't even know it no you're not your dad mark we all know that if you're if he's already thinking like this then yeah he's not unless he becomes somehow it can always happen i guess you just don't know the future <sighs> let's find out before they turn it on give me the immortal Director. wait they know about the thing okay mark it's not a good i'll work for you put me back out there sir energy levels just went off the chart they turn it on someone get this kid an earpiece okay how many Power stable neural matrices so spinning up that much knowledge in one head is not sustainable, huh? Open your portals, and we'll connect to the other nine machines. 
R9 machines. Transdimensional interconnects are stable. How about you start with like one or two and not hundreds? We're laughing. Don't say that. Why not? Huh. That's why, you idiot. Is he gonna fuck it up? Hey, shut it down, or I take it down. Maybe don't stop him. Make us. You have no idea how much I wanted you to say that. Uh, wait! Invincible! You don't understand! Don't stop him, maybe. Stop fighting and listen to me! This is for the greater good! Yeah, I've heard that before. Oh no. Then I'm sorry. It's a boss battle. Holy shit! Mollus! Help your brothers. What the fuck? So many. Different ones. Oh, feet. Big blue feet. <laughs> Stop him, but don't kill him. Oh, we're gonna do both. Shut up and enjoy the show. I won't build my utopia with blood. I gotta give it to him. That's did not expect him to just stop for one guy. Impressive. No, 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 not again. Uh, hey, 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 buddy. This was the Maulers, okay? I mean, is it is it his fault? I don't know. Some mail came for you. You first. Hogwarts. No way. You first. Congratulations on being accepted to Upstate University. Miss Bennett! Miss Bennett, wait, this is yours! Oh. What do you want it to say? I wanted to say that we're going to college together. I don't believe you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I believe you now. I don't trust her. Oh! Hey, immortal. <laughs> um. Thanks for the support today. Cecil thinks you're on our side. I'm not so sure. Come on, man. I'll be watching you. Just because he's his son doesn't mean. Oh, okay. And that's the end. Oh, post credits? Yeah. Who survived? Oh, shit. I told him not to take off the damn helmet. It's this guy. What? What did he do to me? You did that to yourself. And this to me. Dude, nobody he did. did this. It made me a freak. What the hell? I ruined and everything. Kinda looks like dreads. Ah, it's fine. Just put a beanie on. I need revenge. Oh, I need to make him pay. I won't rest until I killed. Ah, oh, shit. There we go with the <laughs> with the intro. And that was Invincible. The MVP for this episode is gonna be... Olga. I think that's her name. The Russian woman. Providing a support to your friend in need and not uh, poisoning him or stabbing him is a very nice thing to do. Indeed. Also, no one else really deserved it. <laughs> this episode, I feel like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the, the girlfriend, I don't trust still. Mark's girlfriend. Uh, the friend of his didn't really do much the red hair one a female friend didn't really do much this episode mark himself didn't really do much well he did something he killed many many people wow so yeah she's pretty much the only one that didn't fucking anything good this episode speaking of killing the people man what a fucking what a convoluted thing to do i i, I guess like whose fault is it not really anyone's and at the same time fucking everyone's mark should have maybe uh, listened to the guy and what he's saying those two blue guys should not have gone for the kill and the guy sitting on the chair should not have pulled his helmet off i mean then mark would would have died 
It's like a fucking uh, rock, paper, scissors circle of, uh, you know, blame. That's so stupid that it happened like that. But I mean, I guess the first domino that fell was Mark attacking. If he would not have attacked, maybe it would have gone well. But then again, what if the guy would still turn out to be evil? But now it prophesied itself and now he is evil because Mark attacked. But also, what was Mark expecting the, to, to, to happen when he attacks? Like, hey, I'm gonna go and stop this thing. The same thing would have happened. The whole thing would have exploded. The guy would be uh, uh, fucked, mangled, and his brain would be uh, now his hair. And it would have been just the same thing all over again. Like, that is not a good plan. He, If there was someone to blame as the first domino, I think it would be Mark. Even though, C is his name Cecil? The Cecil guy, uh, you know, did give the orders. He should have kind of just waited and listened out, maybe. The guy tried to explain himself and then Mark just says, Yeah, I listened. I, I heard this one before many times. That is... what the fuck? But yeah, I guess we have our first uh, villain now of, of this season. A multi, multi-dimensional one for that as well. Uh, that is gonna be interesting. Does that mean there's more than one Omni-Man as well in the other dimensions? Or did the Omni-verse, uh, I mean Omni-people, kill also everybody else in the other dimensions? Is the multi-dimensional thing a completely new thing in, in this world or uh, do some worlds already have it as a technology? Dude, the multiverse I'm kind of scared of. Like them going into it this much because that's pretty much just endless possibilities and also kind of lazy writing possibilities, which I do fear and <laughs> it may happen. But we'll see. They need to set some limits. And they it, it didn't seem like they set any limit. The guy literally said, like, you can have unlimited Shakespeare's. You can have unlimited worlds where they cure cancer and all that. It's, it, that's... I'm scared. I'm just kind of scared. I hope the show doesn't suffer because of it. Because anything that happens from this point on, the guy has access to unlimited fucking uh, dimensions and has the knowledge of uh, a lot of them now too. So if he doesn't straight up go in the second episode and kill Mark as he is his now prime target, is it even a good writing anymore? I don't know. Because, you know, you can do so much now. I guess we'll see. I'm not going to judge before anything happens. But the fact that they can do anything is kind of shitty anyways we'll we'll see in the next episode for now though let's go check reddit <laughs> the multiple invincible thesis better pay off lol what a reveal wait what all oh, the intros uh yeah it was <laughs> it was interesting and also the color changed pretty cool yo evil mark paralyzing eve was fucking bananas man that must have been the <sighs> That's gotta be one of the most fucked up things you can do to another human being. Like even beyond killing them, just gonna... I'm paralyzed. There you go. You're, you're welcome. And you're alive still, haha. -ha. But you cannot move anymore. Any, any of your limbs or fucking anything below your head. Damn. <laughs> Is that what you were practicing on all those protesters? Jesus. That's... that's fucked up. The gin made me feel a little sickly, LMAO. <laughs> yeah. That montage of Mark saving people, going through the motions, but feeling kind of numb to it was always so good. Great use of Radiohead too. It was a great montage, yeah. He's probably thinking about what Omni-Man said and that being a superhero, he saves a few people. But ultimately, that planet is doomed if he can beat Omni-Man and other Viltrumites. All of his efforts to save people are kind of futile. Yeah, he's got a... he's got a lot of weight on his shoulders. Especially, especially... No. Angstrom pitching the opportunity to read unwritten Shakespeare plays to the Maulers is the kind of optimistic worldview I'd love to have. Angstrom is his name, okay. Now I wish I had that power. Imagine all the classics that never was. Universes where ancient texts survived. Poetry written, video games made. We could have had an invincible MMO somewhere that rivals Fortnite somewhere. A universe somewhere where DC movies are good. <laughs> Dude, I just read some reviews on the Madame Web movie. Uh, what? <laughs> What are they doing over there? That is crazy. From the teaser, you kind of assume Nolan was dropping the you should have died at birth line on Mark, but saying it to robot is actually so much worse. Yeah, is it? That's another fucked up thing to say. Literally like that, like son, Jesus Christ. That opening had to freak out so many people. Ha ha ha. I absolutely thought it was leading up to a three years earlier kind of thing. Dude, same. I thought, I mean, it didn't make sense because robot was back in his, uh, you know, little 
body. But otherwise, it did make kind of sense. Like, yeah, this is, this, he, came, he came back and this is what happens three years later. I love Cecil essentially saying, I don't give a shit, shut it down. To Mark, that's what being an effective manager slash head of a secretive government agency is all about. We love a superhero who punches first and asks questions later. The best way to make an arch nemesis. That is... Yeah, that, that annoyed me the most of this whole episode. Don't forget the Guardians beating up a giant monster who just wanted to be an astronaut. They could have tried talking to him first and saying they could work on it. Exactly. Then ask if they can go outside the populated city and work on it. I would vote for a giant monster for president personally. Especially if he was an astronaut. <laughs> And what would you do? Would you vote a, for a giant baby uh, as a president if he was a astronaut? And how do you feel about Mark going face first and uh, talking later? Was there anything that I might have missed? And did you just overall enjoy the, the beginning of the second season? Leave a comment below. Have you enjoyed this reaction? Consider leaving a like or a sub. Because if you do, you are guaranteed that your city will not be fucking attacked by a giant baby astronaut that wants to be a president today. And I'll be seeing you. The next one. Peace.